And let's talk about Bitcoin now. I do want to talk about it from an Ichi, from a, from a basic standpoint, not so much as Ichimoku right now. So first, I want to highlight a couple different levels. I want to highlight this low here. I want to highlight the the low right here, and then I want to highlight this low. And also, let's go in. And let's highlight this low right here. The reason why I'm highlighting those levels is because these are really good support levels. Now that you guys have seen those support levels, we can go ahead and we can draw a rectangle right here. Now what we can see is Bitcoin, if we go ahead and we stretch this out, it looks a whole lot better, doesn't it? Especially when we go ahead and we put this rectangle right here. We are literally just trading sideways right now. We are not bullish, nor are we bearish. We are just trading sideways ever since that move in 2020. And you guys remember, since that move in 2020, we really didn't do much since 2017 up until then. So from 2017, 18, 19, 20, about three years, we did nothing. We moved sideways. Then we had that big breakout. As you guys can see, we had that big breakout from this resistance all the way to the high. We're talking 355 percent move so when we see moves like that of course we're going to see all the other cryptos go up with it because cryptos they like to move with how bitcoin is moving now you can't expect the market to move and then move even higher without some kind of exhaustion some kind of some kind of profit taking some kind of consolidation like when we look at it we see the three year sideways correction now we see about one two years worth of correct one year of correction right here what's really important what's critical is what bitcoin is going to do at this level right here if it falls beneath i would say let's just say 27 800 to be safe if it falls beneath that we are heading to 19,000. that's just what's going to happen if we don't bounce off there we're going to head all the way back down to 13 13,000. do i think that's going to happen i don't know what's going to happen what we do know is this Bitcoin has came down. I would love to see it come a little bit, little bit lower, like at least 28. I want to see it come and touch the low. I want to see it come and touch a wick and see what happens there. Another thing I want to show, uh, show you guys too is the RSI. We fell beneath 50. In order for this to be oversold for the first time ever, it's probably going to have to come back down to like 12,000, 5,000. This is cryptos. Anything could happen in cryptos. If you look at the weekly time frame, we're not even, we're not, we're not even oversold yet either. So with that being said, we can see it come back down to here. If, it's, if we're going to see the RSI indicator come beneath 30, we're going to have to see price come down to at least right here for price to become oversold. Then we can start to see some kind of, some kind of reversal. But as of right now, looking at the weekly time frame, you know, unless we, until we see price at least come down to here, touch that 28,600 level, I think that we're going to move down a little bit lower, at least to this blue line, before we go ahead and see something. So we haven't even came back down. We haven't even came down to this level yet. But when we do, we're going to wait and see what happens, and that could happen in the next couple of days. It could instantly bounce off. A lot of people got a lot of limit orders on there. We could bounce off, start to move up. We move up. All these, all the other cryptocurrencies are going to move up with it. Ethereum, Jasmine, Chainlink, Solana, all that kind of stuff. So this is the major level we're going to be watching. This is going to be what's important over the next week, two weeks. If we break, we're falling. If we bounce off, we see some bullish hammers. We see some reversal candlesticks on the weekly day, weekly time frame or even the daily time frame. Like daily time frame, as you guys can see, is oversold right now. But we still have to come down a little bit more, I would say, just to, just to play it safe. So what we're going to be watching in the next week or two what is Bitcoin going to do at this blue line?